Hi, my name is Megan Leaders. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Silicon Labs, and I have Jeremy McLaren here with me, who's the Director of Marketing at Qualsys. What is really required for home automation to go more mainstream? I believe home automation can become mainstream when consumers start adopting some of the more popular items. You put a Z-Wave door lock on a home for a customer and suddenly now they're using the system every day. They're used to typing in their code or they're using a wireless Bluetooth disarming type scenario where they can walk in and the door lock unlocks automatically. And inevitably what happens is someone says, well that's really cool, but what else can I do? And getting the consumer to ask, what else can I do is probably one of the most powerful things that someone selling security systems or smart home systems can do. What else can I do? Well, you can also do smart thermostats. You could do smart lighting. You could automate your router to make it so that instead of having to walk in your office and unplug things, you simply use voice control or a button on a touch screen to say, reboot my router system so that my, my network reboots. Um, you can use uh, you know, smart garage openers, uh, camera systems, you know, inside and out. When you're able to get a text message, for example, that someone has arrived home, it's like, okay, well, what do I do about that? Well, it's now to also be able to pair that with cameras, with door locks, with, you know, lighting and things like that to say, hey, not only do I know that person's home, but now I know that, you know, I can see them, they're there, I can see they're smiling, they're in a good mood, everything's fine, and they got this wonderful welcome home experience uh, because all these devices were working together in a single ecosystem. The other thing that's happening is because they've got this well-established suite of devices, they've got a little bit more cash to say, okay, I'm I'm not I'm gonna buy some maybe a few security sensors. So there's a there's an assumption and belief already that consumers are already protected. And the truth is, in many cases they're not, if they're using some of this older technology. So the very first thing we're doing is we make sure that we use um, firewalls and uh, encrypted sensor technology. Uh, we're using um, all of the signals that go from our panel to the cloud are all encrypted. Uh, we're making sure that everything is protected at every point of the conversation. We would encourage people to use the latest technology, not just because it does a lot of really cool fun things. There's a lot of really great bells and whistles it has. For example, our Bluetooth touchless disarming feature that we released in 2016, which has only gotten better over time, being able to take that Bluetooth disarming and not just disarm the security panel, but also be able to say, I want to unlock the front door, turn on the light, uh, resume the thermostat to a certain temperature, all hands-free, has been a tremendous act of partnership between Silicon Labs and Qualsys.